in the next case it is the odds that a speaks the truth are 3 is to 2 and the odds that b speaks the truth are 5 is to 3 in what percentage of cases they are likely to contradict each other on an identical point the odds that a speaks the truth there is no use of the word against that means this is the same odd rather simple case the odds that a speaks the truth the odds that a means a person speaks the truth given to be 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 now let us analyze there is no use of word against that means from 3 and 2 3 is for speaking truth and 2 is for lying probability A speaks the truth that is P of A equals to 3 by 5 probability that A lies or A does not speak the truth let us take it as probability of A complement that is 2 by 5 the next part of the statement is and the odds that B speaks the truth are 5 is to 3 the odds that B speaks the truth given to be 5 is to 3 probability that B speaks the truth again there is no use of word against that means this is the simple case first number 5 is for speaking truth and second number 3 is for lying probability that B speaks the truth P of B 5 by 8 and the complement event probability that B lies or B speaks does not speak the truth P of B complement is 3 by 8 again in this case two persons are involved so let us believe that A and B are working independently or A and B are independent and we know that if A and B are two independent events P of A intersection B equals to P of A into P of B similarly P of A complement intersection B complement is P of A complement into P of B and there are two other results a and B complement are also independent so P of A intersection B complement will be P of A into P of B complement and the last case is A complement and B are also independent that means P of A complement intersection B will be P of A complement into P of B these are actually four effects of independent events if A and B are independent A complement and B complement A and B complement A complement and B all are independent yes in what percentage of cases they are likely to contradict each other on an identical point that means probability that both contradict now how can A and B contradict to each other? First of all, what do we mean by contradiction? On same point, both are speaking something different. That means one is speaking truth and another is lying. Now, if there are two persons A and B, how can one speak truth and other can lie? So it is possible in two mutually exclusive ways. A speaks the truth and B lies or A lies and B speaks the truth so this probability is ultimately probability A speaks truth and B lies 
Let us first of all write sentences only. Or A lies and B speaks the truth. If we use sign, what is it? A speaks the truth. That means B of A. And intersection B lies, B complement. Or addition A lies, that means A complement, intersection and B speaks the truth, B. So ultimately, we require to calculate probability of A intersection B complement as well as A complement intersection B. Again, we know that it is group of independent events. So, it is possible in this way. P of A into P of B complement plus P of A complement into P of B. Now we know that P of A is 3 by 5 into P of B complement rather. It is 3 by 8 plus P of A complement 2 by 5 into P of B 5 by 8 3 into 3 9 5 into 8 40 plus 2 into 5 10 5 into 8 40 so ultimately it is 19 by 40 now the question originally asked is in what percentage of cases they are likely to contradict each other in what percentage of cases in what percentage of cases they are or A and B are likely to contradict yes percentage 19 by 40 is the probability multiply it by 100 yes 47.5 percent that means in 47.5 percent of cases they are or a and b are likely to contradict 